Well, I should have had the camera on for that. Um, I shortened up the uh, uh, wheelie bar here and uh, reversed the motors again <laughs> and swapped them left to right because I was getting that uh, that uh, effect that was uh, where the steering was reversed. And I thought all was well. I actually I tooled around the yard really nice, slow. I could lean forward and it'd go faster, lean back and it'd slow down. And everything seemed to be working perfectly and it was balancing, it was definitely balancing. The front end was off the ground. The, uh, the uh, stinger on the back was off the ground. It wasn't dragging. And uh, Road decided, oh, I'll ride, ride out to check the mail there. Right out to check the mail, stop beside the mailbox and no mail but uh, nevertheless uh, got back on switched it on and now it just wants to drive in reverse I don't know that uh, I think it has to be that gyro is like half flaked out I don't understand what's going on it's just really really weird so uh, I'm going to fiddle around with it a little bit more and see if I can make it, you know, go back to working the way it was supposed to. But uh, yeah, it's just weirding me out. It's that kind of eccentricity really begs a lot of of something is, you know, kind of partially working there. But uh, nevertheless, I'll, I'll try again. If I get it working <laughs> again, I'll... Uh, I'll uh, Make sure I shoot a video this time of it so you guys can see. But uh, nevertheless, and oh, and boy, by the way, this thing is about the biggest uh, shin buster you ever see. This thing, the front, when I was pushing it back, the stinker at the back will kill your shins. Uh, yeah, anyways. Well, let's see if we can work out something here and figure out what's going on. Now the wires feel hot, which is a bonus. Probably not the smartest way to check, because if something was really hot, you could get burned, but nevertheless. Motors are a little warm. They're probably around 30 degrees uh, Celsius. You know, somewhere around, over, probably maybe close to 100 Fahrenheit. So I'd be like 38. No, I don't think it's that hot, actually. Nevertheless, you know, it, it sort of worked for a while. Can't prove it, but it did. Anyways, I'll pause you guys and I'll see if I can sort out what's going on. Okay, we're trying again here. Um, it's working again. I flipped that uh, the gyro around the way it uh, you know, was working before and it works again. Um, the only thing I can come to the conclusion of is that uh, I must have a bad connection somewhere and it just must every once in a while just come a little bit loose and then the whole thing just doesn't want to work the way I expect it to. But it worked two minutes ago, so let's try again.
There you go. Lean back a bit. Let's see if we go backwards. We're working. Oh, can you even see the wheels from here? I can't really see the camera. Here, I'll move a bit further away. There you go. It's working. So we'll see what, uh, what the problem is. I think I know what I would do next time that would make my uh, wiring issues a lot less uh, troublesome. And that's you can get this thing called the uh, Arduino Proto Shield. And I could have soldered my connections to it instead of having to do this flaky thing where I was soldering it to the, uh, to the uh, connections. Or uh, to the uh, to actual uh, header connections. It would be a lot easier otherwise. What do you think, Mrs. Dog? Cool? I don't know. There you go guys, working. Now I'm gonna feel some of the connections, see if anything feels hot, and see how we go from there, but. <sighs> that was very, very satisfying. Went for a good rip down to the end of the driveway and back, and oops, where electronics are falling out the bottom. I haven't mounted that yet. I'm gonna move them to the uh, side so it's a little bit easier access. I'm also gonna move the on-off switch to the uh, left-hand side. But uh, all in all, whew, there you go. That was very, very satisfying. I'll, uh, I'm gonna check the uh, wiring. I might as well take you guys off the tripod here and we'll have a quick look while everything's still warm. And we'll see. Those motors, yeah, now they're just, you know, like the threshold of pain, basically, which I think means that that's magic, some magic number like 40, 45, 48 degrees Celsius. Wires are cool, or not warm, not any warmer than ambient. Controller, I can't really state. This is solenoid itself. No, nope, no worries there. So apart from the controller, let's see, kind of hard for me to reach in there. The heat sink is warm, cooler in the motors, but pr pretty warm. So, I think we're good to go with uh, with permanently mounting some of this stuff and uh, maybe blowing it apart and uh, throwing some paint on it. I think I'm going to hoon around for a bit until I kill the batteries in it and, uh, and go from there. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount that uh, control box permanently. And get that done. Anyways, thanks a lot guys. That might be it um, for uh, today, at least on this thing. And uh, we'll go from there. I think I got the sun right behind me, haven't I? So, uh, oh, there's a bit of a relief, although I still now have an unknown problem, but that is likely a wiring problem. So I'll have to look into that, but all is good. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, since Vicky uh, got up, I had to go and show her how well the thing was working here, and I was hooning around, had my first uh, minor failure. Uh, heard some kind of noise coming from this side, and uh, the chain popped off. It uh, lost its tension, and the only thing I could figure is that this turnbuckle uh, unscrewed itself. It's already... Well, I didn't actually put that much tension. Excuse me, back into it. But nevertheless... So, there's that. One thing I don't know if I mentioned or not, but I'll mention it now. Come here, Mrs. Dog. Is um, that 
Uh, one of the things that makes it a little bit more of an interesting ride is that right now I've got the steering uh, reversed. <laughs> Not deliberately, but that's just the way it worked out. So uh, I'm just sorting out my own head. Well, actually, I'm going to just change the software and uh, and make it work correctly. But uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I guess I'm going to take the seat off. It's only six bolts, and uh, and uh, and see if I can't permanently mount uh, the computer because it was falling out again. Somewhere where I've got reasonable access to it. Oh, another dog here. And uh, and uh, then I can uh, I can actually you know, really tool around. And I'm recharging the batteries again. So uh, I've got to permanently mount my charging jack as well. And uh, apart from that, um, I think I'm going to leave the stinger on. I can see that the stinger looks a little bit bent. <laughs> it's taken. Uh, a little bit of abuse, but oh, you okay, buddy? Uh, oh, you stank! Get away! Yes, he definitely was a little bit too close to the skunk. Um, but anyways, um, I lost my train of thought. It does look a little bit bent there, so if I'm gonna leave that on there, I'll have to make it a, a little bit more triangulated. But uh, it actually works quite well at that angle there. It doesn't let it flip all the way over. Uh, uh, so we're good there, and uh, no, I don't need need a caster on the back because it it's never digging in. At least unless I you know jump off of it, and at that point I don't really care. One thing I like about this this seat was a good choice was this handle on the back. Uh, I use that all the time for dragging it around now. Oh, anyways, fun stuff, and it's so tempting to just go and just burn around the place uh, on it. Uh, it's uh, it's actually bad because, like I said, I got to mount that that power box there, and I need a better place for the power switch, and uh, and all that. Anyways, I'm rambling again. I'll let you guys go. Yeah, you haven't been able to come into the shop for a little while. The evil electric fence has been keeping you in the way. Oh, what are you eating a plastic bag for, you dumb goat? <laughs> and Mrs. Beggar Dog.